Hello and welcome back. Comic Foil here. I missed you. Did you miss me? I hope you didn't miss me too much. I've only been gone... I mean, you've seen me for 14 days straight if you've been keeping up with all this. So, I mean, thank you, but wow, we've... We've really been seeing each other a lot lately. This game, which, you know, neglected to have a title screen, is The Witness, which is how we are going to finish off our second week here. We got... A first-person puzzle game. It is also the one I'm most worried about running okay on my computer because, I don't know, the graphic settings are said to be rather killer for... what? It, where, where did my pointer go? There it is. It's very light. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm playing this with a controller, but I'm starting to think that I should actually be playing this with the mouse and keyboard. Maybe that would be better. Alright, so we got a puzzle game here. This game was both critically acclaimed by many big reviewers, but also kind of pooped on a lot by a lot of people who say that it is boring. I really like puzzle games, so I think I'm going to be okay with this, but... Oh, I brought up, like... If I press A, I bring up, like, look around mode. Whoa. Okay, this puzzle looks a little bit harder than the other ones I've been dealing with, but let me see here. So do I need to just... Oh no, it's just a maze. Yeah, it's just a maze. That's not so bad. Um, okay, maybe it is that bad. Wait. Because I can't... No, that appears to be a dead end on that side. So maybe I need to do it from this way. And go up and around. And... Wait, I don't see a way to do this. Okay, they always teach you to follow it backwards, so if I go back this way, and down here, and up, and down, and around... Okay, this is possible. This can be done. And down here, and keep going down, and up, and left, and right. Alright. Completely doable. Um, well, this is very pretty. I will give it that. Looks like there's another puzzle over there, but I also did something with a gate. Do I need to... Yeah, that's one wire. I think I need to find the rest of the puzzles here and do the wires. From my understanding, this is the entire game. You go around a big, really pretty-looking world and do line puzzles. Um, and I don't know how I'm going to get up there to do those line puzzles, because I can't jump. Is this where I just came in from? Yes, yes it is. So I came out of a hallway. Um, this seems like one of those stories that you're supposed to speculate on. From here we can see, like, a mountain. I wonder if that's, like, our ultimate destination up there. Let's just go around. Oh, the wire's just going over the wall. Okay, that's not much of a problem. There's a nice couch here. We're, like, in somebody's cool zen garden, but we came out of a kind of high-tech, like... I don't, I don't know what to call it. Like... Like a closet, like I feel like we're a robot, which maybe we are because we're going to be doing a bunch of procedures. We're going to be doing a bunch of puzzly procedures, the kind of busy work that they give to computers. Alright, so that did one thing that activated something that goes up there, but what about our, what about our gate that we're trying to do something about? Um, do we need to do something different to get our get her gate open. Um, well, that is still a dead end. So let's go up here and to the right and down and around. Um, yeah, all we have to do is not go into the corner there and we can go down instead. So I guess later we'll want that to be set up the other way. We'll, we'll want to switch it. But for now, let's go and open up the gate. I would love a run button. That would be pretty cool. But that's not what's happening right here. This is really pretty. Props to the to the landscapers here. Or whoever's picking out the flowers. Oh, here we go. We got a... This, is, this isn't turned on. We need a, another way to, like, bring power to this thing, I guess. So if this... Oh, we got one here. Okay, so the new rule is if I see a box like this, I'm going to solve it. Yeah, you're kind of like doing mazes out of an old activity book. That seems to be like the main thing that's happening here. 
All right, so that's still not good enough, but that wire sends us on another goose chase over here. This is like... This is like trying to set up a new HD television, but it itself is in HD. It's like HD world. It's like, you ever watch Rick and Morty? There's that one where they leave Jerry at a daycare center, and like one of the busy work things they do is they have a bunch of Jerry's setting up TVs. Oh, okay, it's on, and it's terrible looking. Ugh, gross. Still, a maze is a maze, no matter how big. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just wanted to see if I could do something different. Don't yell at me for thinking outside the lines. You're not my dad. Okay. And I think that's going to open the fence. Or at least give us a puzzle for fence opening. Yeah, this should be the same kind of thing, right? Does it matter how I go down? Is there a wrong way to go down? No, just choose your own adventure. You can go down that however you want. So why, what, what was it about these like metal slits in the way that was keeping me from doing the puzzle? I think I could have done that one blind. I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works. But we have some battlements here. What? Oh yay! There's a, there's a brisk run. Command. Okay, we're just gonna go. Ooh, super reflective water. Looks very clean. Don't know if I can go down there. No does not want me to fall to my death, but it lets me, it lets me look. Wait, I want to see if, because I have like a look command. Is there anything I can do if I like, let's say, look at this little red buoy here? No, or up there. Um, that thing kind of looks like one of the puzzles. So, this seems to be a lot of, like, if you ever played Myst, um, that's an old first person very outdated PC puzzle adventure. Um, I don't think it holds up very well, but it was really monumental for its time. All right, what do we have here? Let's do this one. Um, I'm guessing for this one, I need to get those little notches in before. Okay, cool, and that turns on the next thing. Yeah, I understand the game. The game is hit all the little notches, and right now I'm not playing the game quite right. Um, so if I go up here first, wait. Yeah. Yeah, I got this. I'm the puzzle master. I love puzzle games. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to have, like, a story to it, or if it's, like, one of those stories that you're supposed to pick up indirectly, like, um... Well, like Mist, I guess, or like... I don't know, or like Valhalla that I was playing before. Are you, oh, I got two different starting points that I get to use here. Okay, so... I guess let's just try a few different things. I already can tell that's not going to work. I need to go around like this. Ah, oh, cool. Does it make me feel so smart? But it's not like... Like, Portal. Portal has a story and has, like, dialogue and stuff like that. The game... This game doesn't seem interested in doing it like that. I feel like I would have to start here. That's the only way that this really makes any sense to me, that this seems even remotely possible. Let's go up. Can I go through there? Yes, I can. All right, and what did that... What did that do for me? What did that... Um, I did all these TV screens, but... It's like they're not connected to anything. Oh man, it's like it's like the show Lost. I'm on an island and there's puzzles, except this time it's like literally like mazes. Instead of just annoying puzzles of people's backstories and stuff. Alright, what do you what do you want me to do here? Oh really? Is that all you wanted me to do? Could it be that simple? Okay, this is my guess. My guess is that I need to separate the white and blacks here and not separate the blacks from each other. I am segregating the board, and I should feel terrible about that. It's a very regressive puzzle. Um, okay, cool. Well, like I've been saying with games like Valhalla and Surgeon Simulator, 
like, my goal with Steam Semper was to try and pick a bunch of games that are all really different. I wanted a whole bunch of very different Let's Play experiences. This one looks a little more... Uh, th this one might take a little bit more thinking. Um, so, you know, this is a different one. This is if you want a really uh, sterile minimum conversation <laughs> Let's Play here because it's not really giving me... What I've been loving about doing Steam Semper, though, so far is that, like, I never have any shortage of things to talk about because I'm just getting completely new sensory information every day. Um, everything is always new every second. So some of these games, you know, maybe would start to feel a little bit old if I played them for multiple episodes in a row, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Um, okay, how am I going to do this one? So... I can't go up and block it like this, because then I won't be able to get to the exit. So if I... come around this way... and then... Oh man, I actually kind of don't get this one. Um, let's try it again. So we need to... Mm, we need to separate this part, but without... Locking the... Yeah, that doesn't work. It's yelling at me for doing it like that. I, I get... I gotcha. I get it. Don't have a cow. Oh, wait. What if I do it like this? I come up and I grab this one. At, uh, there's still a... Dark bean in the way. But if I come up and grab it this way... All right, and now I can go around the beam and come down that way. And oh, I gotcha. Okay, you have the blank spots in between, so that made me. I had to think about the problem differently. Cool. That still doesn't do anything. That's just like in the middle of a, like, field of crops. Is that making? Is that gonna make the crops grow? Or are you gonna Farmer Brown just like wanted some puzzles in here to scare scare the crows because the crows don't like puzzle games? I have a shadow though that I saw for a second. Yep. So this is my general shape. Wait. Either I have a really pronounced... Oh, no, that's my hair. I thought I had, like, a jutting chin or something. I'm trying to determine if I'm, like, an android or anything like that. So, also, I mean, I love the color of this. It's giving me a kind of, like, Firewatch vibe. If you've never played Firewatch and you're into, like, the walking simulator kind of games, check out Firewatch. That is a great PC game. Okay, this looks like it would open the door into here. And I want to come in, so... Oh... Oh, it's symmetrical. Okay, that's different. And we have a um, little art house here. Weird dumbbell vases. Is this important? Is this going to be, like, part of, like, are these shapes? Shapes I'm going to have to know. They're all different colors, too. Let's... Let's just keep that in mind, I guess. Um... Yeah, I'm kind of just wondering. What I could be doing is following these wires to try and figure out repeated objectives, but like these. The, these look like those are in the way and need to be moved. Or I'm trying to... Okay, I see. I might want to be trying to find a way into this box? Maybe? Um, I don't know. Okay, well, let's do this. This is the section where we get cool symmetrical puzzles. Easy. Give me another one. Um, this one looks less easy, because though we are symmetrical, the board is not. No, easy. Next one. Um. Oh. Now, now, now you're being uncool. Wait. Okay. Up. Around. And in. Easy. Next one. And we can't, we can't go in the middle for it. We could go straight up first. Okay. So we need a path that works for both of these little light worms. Um, hello? Oh. It didn't... Did you... Did you not count that? That didn't count? Did I not hit A the right way? Why, why gods of puzzles, have you forsaken me so? Yeah, salt. There we go. Okay, I don't know what I did before, but... Ooh. Are you gonna give me four, or... Huh. This one has multiple layers to it. 
Whoa. Uh, back in the middle. It's a little too small for my liking. Glad I have my glasses on. Okay. What did that- Oh! Alright, so now I can come out onto the veranda. Uh, that's nice, except... Um... Now what? What do I do out here? Can I swim? What's up with the clouds? Are the... Are the reflections in the clouds important? That cloud doesn't look right to me for some reason. Or is that... Is that the moon that's behind a cloud? Is that like a weird... Semi... Like a half moon? I don't know. It's not letting me swim though. I can't go there. Okay, what if I... Use the observer thing and look at the buoy? No, I can't do that. Alright, so maybe this really is just like a sightseeing game. Like you can... Oh, someone made a sandcastle. Cute. Um, the other four sandboxes are not nearly as creative. Yeah, maybe this is just like a sightseeing tour for like... Oh, found something else. Like somebody just made this island to like entertain somebody while on vacation. Like I want to go to a beautiful vacation, but I really like video games. So I want to like unlock everything that I do. So, like, if you want to go step out on the veranda, you got to solve a puzzle first. If you want to get into the mini bar, got to solve a puzzle. If you want the good stuff from the real mini bar, got to solve a harder puzzle. First mini bar just has, like, natty ice and stuff in it. Okay. Oh, doing some crossy crossy. And, oh, we get to come to this side. <laughs> Okay, so think if you were, like, doing a Sudoku book, but every time, instead of turning the page, you had to, like, go, like, the next page was, like, torn out of the book and, like, thrown in the next room. Which I guess would be a good way to, like, get you to exercise more. Um, okay. So... I'm having a little trouble with this one. Let's go through that one instead. Okay. Yeah? No. And got it. Had a kind of process of elimination my way through that one. But still easy next one. Yeah, that's what I need. I need a game where... People made all these, you know, fitness games for a while, like Wii Fit, and they, you know, they still make them. Games where the idea is to get you up and moving. Um, Pokemon Go, I guess you could say, is one of those. Um, where it's like you get points or something as you move. I need one where, like, literally to unlock the next part of the game, you... Oh! It melted! This puzzle melted! Uh, oh, this is weird. I don't like it. It, like, makes me feel like I need to, like, change my perspective. Like, I need to just, like, step to the side or something, but that's not how it is. Oh, this isn't fair. I can't see it. Uh, okay. I definitely think I need to go up first. Well, down on the left one and right on the up one. I'm controlling the one on the right, but I'm actually watching the one on the left right now. Okay, so go that way, and... Okay, can we turn from there? Okay, got it. And what did that do? Is that going to let me into this weird machine thing? Or did I just power a machine? Can we look in? Can we jump? What did I... What did I do? Why did I do that? What was the point? What is this game? Um, Snowman Gaming, which I've mentioned a few times and was the reason why I decided to get a lot of these games. Like, they recommended Dundara and a few other games that you're going to see later in the playthrough but they also six so they have a series called um he i should say it's one guy um he has a series called you need to play blank like you need to play dundara or you need to play celeste which i did i beat you to that game snowman gaming but he did the one and only you don't need to play for the witness so yeah he's like not really a fan of this game which you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that the game is bad, but that, you know, raises a lot of questions for me in terms of quality and stuff. I think this is why I did that. I turned 
this green wire solid. Because you know what? This is a... I guess a question that gets asked a lot is like, okay, you're doing these things, but there's not a point to doing them. Like, that got brought up a lot for people who didn't like Super Mario Odyssey. Like, you can collect all these moons, but what's the point? And to me, it's like, I always like to collect a thon games because the point is to get the moons. Like, that's enough of a purpose for me. Like, this can entertain me, and I understand that those kinds of things don't entertain everyone, and they want some kind of more solid form of level progression or for it to be tied to a story or something like that. For me, this is really all I need. Like, I, <laughs> this is making me want to go around and solve every one of these stupid puzzles. And if that amounts to something later, that's great, but it totally doesn't even need to. I, I would make a good lab rat. Um, like, sure, there wasn't any cheese at the end of this maze, but maybe there'll be cheese at the end of the next maze. The maze isn't going to solve itself. Um, let's go down through this one and up. Actually, it's going to sound weird, but I, I'm finding the controls kind of hard to get around with, mainly because I forget which line I'm controlling and which one is copying me. Okay. Oh, so this is symmetrical in another way. It's symmetrical along the diagonal axis. So that's that's a little harder for me to wrap my head around. I might need to, like... Might need to, like, turn my head at a 45-degree angle. Play this whole game like a barn owl. Uh... Yeah, let's go down. And No, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Okay, got this one. It it helped with... I had to... See, before I was thinking of it in terms of, like, how it was diagonally symmetrical, but I had to just kind of divide the map into a top half and a bottom half, and that made it a lot easier for me to understand. Um, this one where... Huh, that's weird, because it looks like none of them would actually belong to the bottom piece, but I'm going to... Oh, no, it was actually really easy. It's funny how some... Sometimes the more difficult puzzle for some people are the more easy ones for others. Or sometimes a puzzle just, like, has to do with what state of mind you're in when you get to it. Or it could be just, like, dumb luck. Like, you just happen to... Like, if you're doing a, where, a Where's Waldo, and when you first look at it, your eyes just happen to fall on Waldo the second you look at the puzzle. Oh, no, this has colors. So this one's gonna be easy, but I can see how that gets more complicated. I like how they're in sets, too. They're in sets so that you can keep, like... So you can, like, get used to a new mechanic easier. Like this one now is doubles with colors. Um, Alright, so can I... It's giving me multiple options of how to end it. I don't know why it was doing that. I feel like that only made it more confusing. And... Ooh, don't like that. Oh, and now we have, like, non-colored ones that I guess I can collect with either side? Maybe? Well, I know I have to go down this way first with the blue. So how am I supposed to... How mean would it be if they actually put unsolvable ones in this, too? Like, they could put an unsolvable puzzle in and not even tell me, and I would have no idea. Okay. What if we... No, we can't go all the way across and come back around because that's blocking our way through. That's not going to work. Even though I can't get all of them this way. Okay, and this time I just, like, started over and did a different move first randomly and it was easy. I made perfect sense. Okay. Um... Oh, now you're only giving me two. <laughs> See, it's annoying, because with orange, you want to just go straight down, but that doesn't solve blue. Okay. 
go and grab and cross again and go down and grab the orange. Easy. That was a very open-ended one. There were like a few variations of how you could want to do that. Oh, does it even... Okay, whichever one I put it on is blue too, so which angle I decide to solve it from also controls the puzzle. That's why it, was, it seemed so easy to me before. I see. So am I picking the easier or the harder way to solve this now? Time will tell. Let's go down first. Okay. And I know I want to cross a little earlier than that. Okay, and cross and Oh no, but I can't get this one now. Okay, there are two things I know. One, I can't start on I can't start with blue in the upper right. Because if I start with blue in the upper right, it's impossible for orange to get to this hexagon here without coming to a dead end. So blue has to be down here. Then, I have to go this way first, because it's the only way to grab the orange without creating a dead end for it. That is the only first move there could possibly be. The second thing I know is... This little guy up here in the upper left has to be the last thing I collect. Wh whichever side is solving it needs to come into it from this way to grab it. Because if something's coming from up here, it's going to create a dead end. To yeah. Maybe I'm making sense to you. Maybe I'm making absolutely no sense. I totally understand either way. So, and I can't can't have orange go down more than two because I'm gonna end up blocking orange on the left. And got it. Alright, that was a bit... Oh, and the light is both blue and yellow, which is the kind of color that I was puzzled, so I need to follow it over. Man, it's like hanging Christmas lights. Ah, screw this game, but it's cool. Okay, well, that about is the time for me here. Um, I think you already have decided, based on that little amount of gameplay, whether or not this is the Let's Play for you. So, as always, remember, put your... Um, Give me a like if you like the video. If you want to see see more, leave it in the comments. Thank you for watching either way. And remember that the three videos that get the most comments asking for more, the most likes, and the most um, and the most views will become full Let's Plays. So you have the power. You have everything, and I have nothing. Thank you for following me for two weeks of Steam Sember. I will be back tomorrow with a brand new game. See you later. I need to stop looking at line puzzles now. I'm starting to go cross-eyed.